What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a super easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Enderman and XP farm. This works on 1.16 and on all other versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PS4, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this Enderman farm will give you a ton of Ender Pearls, as well as a ton of XP. For this farm, all you'll need is about nine stacks and 40 solid blocks. You guys can use any solid blocks that you want about six stacks of slabs. You guys can use any slabs that you want, nine hoppers, eight buttons, and two chests. The first step is to go to the end, then go to any edge that you want, and then take any slab that you want and just place one slab down. Make sure you place the slab down on the bottom part of a block. That way, Enderman will not spawn on the slabs. Then you're going to extend this out 100 blocks. The reason why we're making this little 100 block bridge is because that will cause all the Endermen to spawn in our farm instead of on the end island. After you have finished making your 100 block slab bridge, then you have the option to add a guardrail. If you want to add a guardrail, just place a solid block over here, then place a slab on top. It's really important that you guys do it this way, that way Enderman will not spawn on top of the guardrail. Then you can just extend this out all the way until the end of the bridge. The next step is to come over here to the end of the 100 block bridge. Then you're going to place a slab over here and place three slabs this way. One, two, three, and three this way. One, two, three. Then extend out until you get to seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now just fill in your platform. Once you have finished creating your seven by seven block slab platform, then I recommend that you add a little guardrail around so you don't fall off. So just take some slabs and just place them all around just like this. The next step is to take some more slabs, place three over here, three over here, three over here, and three over here. This will be the beginning of our little center tube. Once you guys have done this, you're going to take a double chest and just place it down right over here and come behind it, crouch down and place three hoppers. The hoppers should all be funneling towards the double chest. That way you will be able to collect all the ender pearls. Then you come over here, crouch down and have these hoppers funneling towards the middle hoppers and come to this side and do that once more. Once you guys have done this, you're going to take any solid block that you want and then build up 43 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Once you have finished creating your 43 block tall pillar, then you're going to want to repeat this on all the other sides until you have finished creating your 43 block high center tube. After you guys have finished making your 43 block high center tube, it should be looking something like this. Then you're going to come to the top and once again, take any solid block that you want and then place one in each of these corners. After doing that, you're going to pick a side and extend out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then go to another side and extend out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then do that again. One, two, three, four, five. And finally do on this side. One, two, three, four, five. This would be the outline for our Enderman spawning platform. Then you're going to just take some solid blocks and fill in the entire platform. Once you guys have finished creating the spawning platform, then you're going to go over to one side, place down a solid block, then place down a slab on top, then place another slab over here, and then just extend this all the way around the entire spawning platform. This guardrail will prevent any Enderman from escaping the farm. After you guys have finished doing that, then you can just break this slab and break this block. Now you're going to come to the center, take some buttons. You guys can use any buttons that you want. Place three over here, then place three on the opposite side, then place one over here, and one over here. The reason why we're putting buttons is because Endermen will see buttons as full blocks. That way they just walk straight off into the kill chamber. The next step is to come back down to the bottom of your farm. Then you're going to break these three blocks, then break these three as well, and then break, break these, and finally break these. Then you're going to take some slabs, place three slabs over here, three slabs over here, three slabs over here, and three slabs over here. This will create a little gap so that you'll be able to one-shot kill all the endermen while not getting attacked. At this point, your farm should be ready to go. All you have to do is wait down here. Endermen should start spawning up on that platform and they'll soon start coming down. When they're down here, you can just one-shot kill them with your fist. That way you get all the XP and all the enderpearls. 
By the way, guys, if you use a looting sword, then you'll be able to get more drops at a time. I hope you all enjoy learning how to make this super easy and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Enderman and XP farm. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.